If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can modify the preset reports in Sage 50 to create your own custom reports. To modify a report in Sage 50 Accounting, select the report to use as a basis for your custom report within the Select a Report or Form window. Then click the Options button within the window to open the report's modification window. The report modification options appear within the Modify Report window that opens. In the Filters section, the report's available filters appear. This section lets you change the criteria used to filter the report data. The available filtering options change based on the report's data. To add a new filter, click the name of the field by which to filter the report data within the filters list. Then set any filter options for the selected field in the adjacent Select an Option area to the right. Your filter then appears within the Filters on Report list at the bottom of this section. To remove a report filter, set the value of the selected filter field back to its default value. To remove all report filters, click the Clear All Filters button within the Filters on Report area to clear all applied report filters. In the Dates section, Use the drop-down menu that appears to select a date range of data to use for the report. You can also use the From and To drop-downs to create a custom date range if desired. Note that some reports, like the customer list for example, do not use a date range for their values. Next, in the Sorting and Summary section, Use the drop-down to select your report's sorting options and summary options. Also note that not all reports have summary options. Click the Columns hyperlink to display the Columns tab for your report in Sage 50. This tab lets you check the Show checkbox for the columns or fields to show within your report. As you show additional columns, they are added to the end of the columns in the report. If you look in the Column Number column, their order from left to right appears as a numeric ascending ranking starting with column number 1 at the far left. To change the column order within the report, click the column whose position you want to change, and then click either the Move Up or Move Down button in this tab to change its column number. If you opened the Columns tab, you can click the Fonts tab within the same dialog box to view the fonts for your report. Alternatively, you can click the Fonts hyperlink within the Modify Report window to also display the Fonts tab. To open a font dialog box that lets you set the font style for each report section shown, click the A button for any font style on the Fonts tab. Then click the OK button after applying your font changes. Note that you can change the report title and subtitle by using the Title I Report Label and Title II Report Label fields. Click the OK button after modifying the report to view the report's layout. To change the width of columns in this view, Click and drag the blue double-pointed arrows between the column headings left or right. When finished, click the Save button to save the report in the Save As dialog box. Type a new name for the report into the Report Name field. Then type a description into the Report Description field. Then click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to save it. 
the report then appears in the selected category of the Select a Report or Form window. All customized reports have a blue wrench icon appear next to them in the Select a Report or Form window to distinguish them from the regular preset reports. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.